A very warm welcome back to the Majeski Stadium for the PlayStation Schools Cup Festival for 2015. This is the under-15 small schools Schools Cup final between Blaken High School of Chester and Broadlands Academy of Bath. And it's an opening opportunity here for Blaken School. No, no chance there for Caelan Barlow. This is Charlie Saunders coming up the wing. Saunders. Runs away by Jake Sconce. This is Kieran Hogg. Hogg trying to put it into the box. Shot comes in. Oh, no, what a goal! What a goal! That is from Jack Goddard! 45 seconds on the clock. Goddard opens the, the goal scoring from Broadlands Academy with an absolute pearler. Well, what an absolute screamer. I mean, the ball ricocheted and bounced back to him kindly, but he had to have great technique when he came onto it, as we see a replay of it. Really good work here. Hits the ball into the box. Deals with it well, but then he comes onto it and what a scream. The keeper can't do anything about it. Fantastic technique, and we've talked about some goals of this PlayStation Schools Cup tournament on the Monday. Now on the Tuesday in the second game, we get an absolute contender for goal of this festival. What a screamer from Jack Goddard. Absolutely incredible. What a Jack Goddard, wow. The words of Andy Gray, take a boson. Fantastic. Have a look at this goal again, John. Talk us through it. Oh. Well, the ball's just played in there, isn't it, from uh, Kieran Hogg. Gets a sort of uh, clearance. It's a half, half clearance. Good strength here. Good work. It's a bit of a nothing ball into the box. But bang, look, he comes onto it. What a strike. Goddard, the goal scorer. Good cross, that was as well, to Bennington Mannings. Oh, and another great goal! Jay Bennington Mannings is the scorer, Jack Goddard with the cross. And Brawlers Academy, two goals to the good in the first seven minutes of this tie. Well, that was all about Jack Goddard, the goal scorer, as you said, picking the ball up in midfield and fantastic pass into space over the top. Here you'll see it again, lifts it over, great control, great vision. But then it's all about the touch from Shea Bennington Mannings. Gets out of his feet, sets himself up, and fantastic finish inside the inside post of Jake Dean. Superb finish to make it 2 0. And Broadland's really in the ascendancy now. Cook Goodwin. Oh, well muscled out of it. Hogg. Goddard. Long range again. Oh, oh, oh. what a screamer! What a goal! What a fantastic goal for Jack Goddard! They see Lightning do the same twice. That man's got golden boots on! Oh, well, if the first one was stunning, the second one the second was sublime. One as well. Kieran Hogg releases him. He's there. You don't think there's too much danger? Keeper just stands and watch it goes past. I think he's stunned by the fact that he's shot from such long range. It's got to be all of 30 yards. And Jack Goddard with another wonder strike. Well, can he make it three? He's got the whole of the second half. He's got the whole of the second half to score a hat-trick here and, and take a match ball home. And I think the way he's playing here, John Skills, he might be taking something else home with him as well. Oh. Chance here, though. Chance for Blake to get back at the side. Yes. And they have done as well. Cook, Cook Goodwin is there. They're back in it. Exactly wow. what they needed on the stroke of half-time when Jack Goddard is scoring off the lampshades. Brooke Cook Goodwin did it the more regular way and has got Blake and back in this tie. 3-1 they trial. Well, I think there's a double blow here because they, they're back in the game, Blake, and there's a real mix-up at the middle of the back. They've been really quite solid, the two of them. Joe Siddle and Charlie Saunders, but it's a real hash. And it leaves Brooke Good, Cook Goodwin simple task of tapping in. Had to finish it, but relatively straightforward. And the second problem they've got is Jake Goddard, I think, is limping, and I don't know whether he's going to come out for the second half. I think he's got a slight thigh strain with the way he's thundered that second goal in. Thomas whips it in. Well, it, well, I think he actually surprised Shea Pennington-Bannings there. He actually had his, his arms covered over his head. 
well, ju just like the spectators do when a six gets hit into the crowd at a 2020 game, you know, <laughs> or somebody shouts four <laughs> on the golf course. Well, I think he... I've no idea what he was doing here. No, I think got Give me a... him here. There he goes. There he goes with his ear. He's hurt his ear or something or his neck, and then suddenly finds himself in an opportunity <laughs> to score and... and put the game to bed, more or less. It really would have done. Burrows finds a little bit of space and goes for the shot. Oh, oh great save from Liam Armstrong. Needed saving too. What a save. Absolutely top draw from Liam Armstrong. Watch this, I thought they'd dwelled on it too long, messed about out wide, but he goes the near post and that is a world-class save. Game throughout, can Blake and get themselves back in it? They've had opportunities, really frustrating for them, but I think the big difference for me is one man who's made all the difference. We see this free kick floated in. Good free kick it was as well. Caused a little, little bit of confusion in the box. Benny's gonna have a shot at this one. Oh. Good save again from Armstrong. Another contender, by the way, who's who's been an excellent shot stopper. Well, he has. He's done really well in goal, Liam Armstrong. He's really kept his team in the game. And Harley Benyon, I think, from Blaken's point of view, has equally done really well, especially this second half, endeavouring to get them into this game. But yep, just been too good, Broadlands Academy. Held out when they've needed to. And that's it. Rollins Academy are the winners of the under-15 Small Schools Cup Final. Three goals to one that they have taken this tie. Two goals from Jack Goddard, one from Shea Pennington Mannings, a goal from Brooke Cook Goodwin on the stroke of half-time. Got Blake and back in the tie, but they couldn't unlock Brook Broadlands in the second half. I'd like to say Broadlands Academy coach John Spring is alongside me. John, many congratulations. Thank you very much. I've got to say, what well, started with, with just two, one word, or two names, or one name I should say. One name. Jack Goddard, superb. Um, yeah, I spoke to him before the game, the last couple of weeks he's been striking the ball over the bar, and he's our, best, he's our most technical, technically best player. Um, to say before the game, just strike over the ball, and he's hit two absolutely perfectly. Um, and obviously no keeper's going to stop that and that kind of set the game up for us nicely um, second half we then slowed it down looked after the ball um, game management was really really good but yeah those two strikes he, he was phenomenal all game um, and they all were they were all fantastic well he said he scored two set up the other yeah. you know it, it's exactly what you want from a number seven isn't it definitely yeah I'm going to I'm going to ask him for the Playstation 4 afterwards I think <laughs> <laughs> What chance are you getting on PlayStation 4 now? I'm definitely getting a PlayStation 4 now, <laughs> after that. I said to him before the game, if, if we get an interview, I'll do a terrible interview, I won't know what to say. I'll sound really unarticulate, which probably isn't even a word. And then I'll get, I'll get covered in the ice bucket challenge. So, yeah, um, I, I'm so pleased for them. All season, they've been, they've been fantastic. Um, they've been absolutely brilliant. Um, their work rate, their commitment. We had a, cup, a Camps Cup final loss uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was really hard for them to take. And then to come here today and to play like that, um, I just so I'm so proud of them. So many people watching, so many parents and carers there every single week watching the friendlies, watching the league games, watching the cup games, and they deserve it. I'm delighted for them. Well, let's come bring on to the next question. Actually, how proud is not just you, but Broadlands Academy as a whole for, for these lads? I uh, hugely, and you can see by how many people we've got here and people have come and support. I've um, got over 100 fans, and, and, and everyone's wished us good luck in the last couple of days. It's just been an amazing community spirit. It really, really has. I know everyone says that, but it really has been an amazing community spirit. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I, I'm so proud of it. And I know everyone else will be as well. So, you see, you're a little bit of emotional. Go on and enjoy yourself with your lads. Well played. Thanks, cheers. Thank you.